Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been here, but I had this half recorded in October and it just got busy. So this is a sketch from Christie's Beautiful Life with the 30 Days of Sketches, series 13. And I am going to do a Christmas picture, so it kind of works in December too. But this was going to be my December or my Christmas in October. And I haven't obviously haven't posted in a while, so... I'm just getting um, the picture of my daughter cut down and then there is a printout of the sketch we're doing today and I'm going to do it on its side. So I've pulled out a whole bunch of uh, scrap pieces from my Christmas bin and I'm just going to pick out some of the papers that I like. I'm going to just put a little bit of an edge on this so you can see just a little bit and See me go back and forth with measuring because I didn't actually measure how big my picture was of my daughter and our dog. I just eyeballed where it would go and that's what it is. <laughs> so on the side of the sketch here, there are some tags hanging out the edge of the photo. And so I'm going to take one of these acetate ones and I'm just gonna trim around it because I can't really see it on my white paper and I thought I might use those, but it's not gonna work. But. And then I have these manila ones that are a good size and I'm just gonna cut these ones out too. Use a whole bunch and get them kind of sorted out. And one more. And it goes here so and um, that's what I'm thinking it may not look exactly like that when I'm done but that's okay I thought if maybe I wanted a little piece of the the tag that was there to pop out but not and then there's a bit coming out this other side so I'm just going to take some of the pieces that I have that are scraps and kind of build up those layers Just taking a look and seeing what I can use out of all these different bits and pieces. Um, they're all from different hip kit clubs, but they were all part of their December, Christmas, winter kind of line. So I just threw them all in together. So I can't even tell you which collections they're from, but. And I'm going to play with this stuff, but it's not going to stay like this, which I don't know is what it is, I guess. Just picking out some of the things that I think will work with the layout at this point in time. And it's not gonna look like anything like this when we're done, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna get my photos or my photo um, pasted on. And I'm just going to put the date on that little panda so that I know the date for later. And then I feel like it needs a little bit of de definition on this blue. So around I go. And then I'm looking at what kind of tags can I use off this other side. And this pinky red one I think works good. And so a lot of my colors on this end up being non-traditional but I have some non-traditional colored papers which is fun blue and pink and purple and like a tealy color I'll just fiddle with this for a minute I wasn't quite liking the white one with the the sweater pattern on it because it's just um, fading into the background. And thinking about behind that to add some more different dimension. Oh, sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> it has been a little bit since I've done a voiceover, so. And it's been a long time since I've done this page, so I'm looking at it going, oh yeah, that's what I did. 
and I got some glue or something on my page and it's not coming off, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. So then I pull out this blue to add definition to the tag and I like that more. It adds a bit more and now I'm going to make sure this is a 12 by 12 because these are, are not 12 by 12s always. And oh, my white ones aren't 12 by 12s at all. And then I'm looking at this and going, yep, there is some mixed media on here. Maybe I'll do the mixed media first. And so I'm just going to outline and I'm going to figure out what I want for color. So I have a lot of different kind of things and meh. so I'm gonna pull this heart stencil out and it was a hip kit club one too um and then i was thinking about that bluey green tealy color and then i was like no i'll use my purple my youngest here one of her favorite colors is purple so and especially at this time her favorite color was purple so meh purple it is and so i'm just gonna Put this glitter paste through the stencil make sure I've got good coverage and then put it in the couple spots so I think it goes in three spots yeah in three spots down here as well and so just smushing a bunch of it I don't want any harsh lines so I'm being careful not to go all the way to the the edge I want mostly full um, hearts so I'm trying that and then I do go wash my stencil right away here I've added some water to use a little bit of to try and use them as uh, splattering bits but dry this a little bit and doo -doo -doo. in between I think I've actually gone and washed but I cut that out so I just let my camera roll and try and forget it's even there because yeah <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do in that bottom corner that's when I went and um, washed and then I have this Nouveau um, glitter it's got the glitter in it it's pretty I like it um, but it's a spray and so I'm just mimicking those two lines on the, the sketch that are on the side normally, but I flipped it. So, And then my daughter's in there chit-chatting too, and she's like, oh, I like that one. So this is the, the kiddo that I'm scrapping right now anyway. So, And so she likes to come and see what I'm doing as I'm doing it on a Saturday. So, And then I'm going through the bits, and so because the Christmas tree is in the background, I thought the Christmas tree would work nice. Um, I like this poinsettia, but it's not going to make it. It's just it was a little too big, I guess. And so I'm just playing around, trying to figure out what I want where. Pulling out. These are Studio Calico stars, I believe. They could be... I'm pretty sure they're Studio Calico. They could be Ali Edwards too because I had a subscription to both of them at the same time. But I think they're Studio Calico ones. And then just gonna do some drying because even though I can set some of it up on my uh, mat, I don't really like to scrap that way. So, <laughs> so I just used a, the dryer and then the wet wipe and I wasn't too keen on this mirror that I did but oh well I'm not going to redo this it's just going to go and I'm really not I don't know I'm not super happy with the um, spray smears at the top and bottom at the moment but it gets better so <laughs> and I'm backing some of the stuff up on just fun foam and so the fun foam I have is not sticky on either side so I have to use my tape runner on both sides but it does it just fine so then that's going to go on top of this scrap piece I'm going to play with these tags again and then start to embellish some so 
I like those two branches. It's going to get a third branch on here too eventually. But those I'm committing with. And then I like these stars, so I'll put some of these on. I think on the sketch, um, there were some stars on it. So just mimicking that part of things. And stars are very much a Christmas thing. I did pull out some gold ones, but I'm not going to use the gold ones. I'm not going to use massive ones, but I'm going to try and use as many of these as I can. And I don't mind them on the white where they don't stick up a lot because it's just a little bit of sparkle. They're glittery, so they, they do show up better. So just trying to think about what to do with this Christmas tree on the bottom corner. And there's this um, sheet of word bits that I have from a December daily, which is Allie Edwards from years ago. Um, so I'm going to put what works on this for those. And then just use that fun poem again. Seeing if I can get another star on. And doing some more playing with the embellishments. And just trying things out in different places. I like this big flower and that looks cute here. It fills up that little bit of void. And then this one can sneak in as well to kind of build up some of those layers. And so I'm happier with that. And then that's that third sprig that's just a little bit different, but still works. That other one could have went in that left corner, but that's okay. It's kind of fun when you're watching and you're looking at yourself and you're like, huh, that would have worked. I'm not sure why I didn't like that. <laughs> but, and then I have these, all these bits and bobs that are from all over the place. Um, I am going to pull out a couple of the silver brads, but I'm just looking to see what else works. So these silver snowflake brads are going to get a spot on them. So I'm pulling out a, a few. And so they are on already. And I lost a little bit of footage, but um, you can see that I added a frame down by the tree and um, I added a f one of the flower bits to the top in a frame and I'm just putting in the last little bits. And then I did do a whole bunch of stitching around in a, a different stitch on my sewing machine. So now I'm just thinking about title. So I had that big smile, sticky, and that would have worked, but eh, I thought it was a little too big. And I was just thinking, hey, it kind of needs a little bit more here. Do I want a little more here? I don't know. So I like that. And I like this. So it is going to be just another layer that I, I just felt like it needed just a little bit more. And scuff it up a little bit. I think it's just doing my title now. And so I'm going to use these alphas from my stash. I have no idea what they are. They're black and they're um, handwriting. So I'm going to put them on my T-square first and get it all lined up. And then this is me getting it on my page and just scooting things just a little bit, but I um, cut out most of the fiddly bit with the title because it's a fiddly bit. I feel like it's always fiddly bit. So I like that and it just needs an exclamation mark and I'm going to switch out the P because this one will fit a little bit nicer and it's not so loopy. And that is my page here. Um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to pull out some enamel dots and 
put the enamel dots on and I think that does it. So I found these black ones. There's quite a bit of black on my page. So I'm going to put these purpley ones on. And I do believe I put some black ones on. And so it did end up with three of those star um, or snowflake brads, I should say. And so there's one at the top left corner. There's one by the word bit on the bottom right corner and in the right inside the frame over top of the word bit in the bottom left corner and some more um, stars and dots from this sheet and then it's the not the black ones on this one it was the black stars and enamel dots from the other one and this one is just getting the the crystally kind of ones and now I believe we are pretty close to being done Pretty close, there we go. So there'll be some close-ups here. Um, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I am gonna try and be a little bit more consistent with my posting. Sometimes life gets in the way though. Thank you again for watching. Have yourself a great day.